Hello survivors and welcome to today's video. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you around our extinction base. So we're on Xbox official servers and uh, we're playing on the Xbox Series X and this is one we wanted to do for a while but um, there was a void worm. This one, that one over there, see? That void worm had been hanging out at our base for ages and uh, it was aggro for a while and then uh, it did calm down and then it just was hanging out at our base for ages. No one was coming to claim it. I asked in chat if it belonged to anybody, but nothing. Um, so that's been going on for a while, but uh, it's moved now for some reason. So we can crack on. So this is our extinction base. Now, there was so much natural greenery around that we wanted to incorporate it into the building because it just looked so nice. We didn't want to get rid of it. So let's head down here. So we have our teleporter. And then we've got our exomech there. And then if we come up here, we've got our trophies. And we've got our taxidermy bases. We'll go through the front door. A replicator straight in the middle with tech bed either side. And then we have our daddy storage here. We've then got our little crafting area, chem bench. We've got the smithy, we've got the fabricator and the grinder. And then uh, we've got a couple of taxidermies and um, trophies and things on the wall. And then we've got a nice natural garden area here with some vessels and a bench, which I think is just so lovely. I think we were so lucky to get this spot on here, to be honest. Um, we've got some artifacts up here. These are all the extinction ones. And for some reason, they're still glitched. I don't know if they're the same on every server, but on official, they seem to be like this. They're all just cyan, so, but they look pretty cool. Anyway, we have another little natural garden area there. I think what we'll do, we'll go around all the bottom floor first. Over here, we have our snow owls dropping pellets for the gatchers to pick up so that we've always got fertilizer. And again, more natural greenery and some flags, a couple of incubators. Uh, we've got one fridge down here, which is just for like our personal food really and kibble and stuff. And then we have these crop plots here and uh, we're thinking maybe we might put some of those, um, the meat tentacle seeds in those so that we've always got, you know, a fresh supply of meat to keep everyone fed. More trophies up there. And then we've got our tech troughs and they're all embedded in the floor. And there, there is Megalania dotted about here and there, which the Dino Lord just had to do, didn't he, of course. Uh, fridges for spare meat, uh, spare meat and berries and stuff. There's another Megalania hiding down here as well. And then more natural greenery. And I just love that. I just, it makes it feel really nice. And then we got a little bridge going over this bit here. I always wanted a bridge. I love bridges. And then out here, it's just one forge. A lovely view. And then a couple of cloners out here. And then this generator, tech generator, does everything. It even reaches up the top there, which I'll show you up in a minute. I'm so glad we've got a base like this on Extinction now because I do like this map a lot. I think what we'll do now, we'll head up to Dan's room. The Dino Lord's made him his own personal space. So I'll show you that now. We always like to give him his own personal space here on every map sort of thing. So he's got his own daddy boxes, cryo fridge, tech sleeping pod vault and then through here just a little area <laughs> we also have a dermis of the exomech and then uh, a bench so we can just sit down and have a look out so that's dan's room now let's head down and then up there is where we have all our storage now he has built this lovely enclosed staircase area i'll be honest with you I usually just fly up there on my tech suit because it is a lot easier. But this looks so nice, so we'll buff up there now and I'll show you our storage room. So it's just vaults and cryo fridges basically. So just vaults for all our belongings and a little area to store all our tames here. I'm just gonna go this way on the way back down. Don't tell him I did this. <laughs> so yeah, that's our main area. This was where we'll breed because it is such a large area, it is perfect for it. And out here, 
you. We go down the bottom. We have another tech generator. This does the stuff at the front of the building. So that doesn't reach up to the top, unfortunately. So we've had to do this one, you know, for the teleporter and everything out here. I love the way he's done this. I do like the, um, you know, how the glass is sort of embedded. It's not sort of on level with the, um, the tech walls. I really like how he's done that there. So he's incorporated bits from each of our other bases that he has designed in the past and kind of put them into this and I love it so much. So here we have a trans and then some daddy boxes in case we want to do some trades and stuff. Uh, this is where we store our element. And then out here we have our parking space. So our skiff is nothing special. It is just for safety really. I mean it's still quite nice. He's done a nice building on it. But uh, because of all of the corrupt dinos and stuff, we needed to have something on it to keep it, you know, safe. We've lost a couple skiffs on Extinction. <laughs> Let me know how you guys get on with your skiffs on Extinction. Have you lost one? Um, we, what we did, we were doing a drop and um, we put the tech force field up with the skiff inside it to protect the skiff. Then when we went to open the drop, it exploded and it broke our skiff, so it was a bit unfortunate, but you live and learn. Another artifact in the corner there, and then another natural garden out here. A couple of turrets just to... Well, the camera just to show one shot of Pteranodon earlier, which is a bit of a shame. I felt a bit bad about that, but... Uh, oh well. And then uh, it's not the best view here, but the garden is lovely, I think. And what he's done, I love how he's managed to sort of keep it all in keeping with the natural structure that was already there. Like, I don't know how he's managed to do it so perfectly, to be honest with you, but I'm so proud of him on this one. And I like how the tree sort of comes out through the glass and stuff. We had like, we both had a vision. Whenever we come somewhere, we'll discuss our ideas on what we would like for the base. And we really wanted the natural foliage and he really wanted to be able to, obviously I, I wouldn't have been able to do this to get it so well incorporated with the shape of the natural structure that was here. I just think he's done a fantastic job. And up here, this, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. So, we've got, playing tonight, Space Mammoth. This is the smoking area out here. And then if we come in here, we have our stage. So this is where we will host our events. So this is the band Space Mammoth, who are performing tonight. We've made speakers out of some vaults and tech lights. And we've made a stage area for the band. And these are our security guards here. And then we've got signs on the wall here, just sort of promoting what's, uh, you know, what's on at the bar tonight. So we've got fire whiskey in stock, weekly entertainment. Ask staff about our daily specials and lunch served daily. And then here we've got our bar and bistro. And then we've got some sort of strange characters that are working here. This one's uh, in a bit of a rush to get some stuff done. And we've got our beer barrels. Uh, buy one, get one free on all drinks. So we've got uh, more beer barrels, a couple fridges, and just some decorative pots and boxes really. And then we've got our um, beer taps always on the go and then around here is the the kitchen where the cooking will happen for for all the guests that we yet to have but uh, you never know so yeah that's the bar and i wanted to put all different lights so it looks kind of like a like a party like a rave if we come out this way i won't show you that side just yet but it does kind of look a little bit like there's a, a, a rave or a party or some sort of show going on in there so that is what we wanted, and that worked out quite well. So um, while the Dino Lord does all the exterior, he d builds all of the bases. Um, I will usually do the decorating of the interior, so this is my work in here. And obviously we've got to, you know, we've got the, the wheat here ready to put in and, you know, to make the beers and stuff. And we like to make it sort of uh, like a little story, I guess. I don't know if you guys do this. Let me know in the chat, uh, in the comments section. Do you guys sort of like to make a story around things that you have in your base? Do you sort of go full on role play for it or do you just sort of build for function? Uh, we like to have a bit of both. So this area I really like actually. This is the outdoor sort of eating area 
and relaxation area. So it's a bit more peaceful than the the crazy sort of headbanging of Space Mammoth. Oh, and Space Mammoth, uh, if you guys don't already know, is a reference to Neebs Gaming. Um, they have an amazing song, Space Mammoth. Um, and we, yeah, we love that. So we had to, we had to incorporate it in somewhere. Oh, and this is our water source out here. So we can't use the beer barrels. They are just for show, unfortunately, because we are using um, water reservoirs as we don't have a source for water like a natural source you know but yeah look look how well he's done this you know how well he's blended it with the natural structures absolutely fantastic uh, you know for official servers as well it's quite hard to do that because things don't mesh into walls and stuff like you can get on some of these um you know the custom servers so he had to work with what he had and I think he's just, uh, he's outdone himself I think. I'm really pleased with it. I'm so proud of him. So we have our two ladies here. They are the welcoming committee. If there's anything you need you just ask them and then we'll come through here. We have our garden so we have all our plants and then we put down some rugs and painted them forest green so that it would look like a grassy kind of area. And then we've got like this uh, I'm not sure what you'd call it, that roof that he, he's put up there, but I really like it. I'm sure there's a name for it. I'm sure he did tell me it, but I've forgotten it. But yeah, I really, really like what he's done with that. Once again, I've decorated the inside of it. And then we've decided to go for more like a natural earthy colours. So the yellows and the greens. And these are the eating areas. A nice chill out area here near the fire and all the plants around. And then we have our strider. We have one strider here. I don't use it because oh, I just don't like picking it up with the skiff. If anyone has any tips on how to pick it up with the skiff, like uh, the Dino Lord manages to do it, but it does get frustrating at times even for him. And I just don't even want to try, to be honest with you. So I just, if I need berries, I just take a Bronto. Um, if I want to mine stuff, I just take mining dinos. Uh, maybe I'm a bit old school like that, but... Um, I mean, I like the striders if they're on the ground and you can just walk to where you want to go. So I'll do a, a full scope around the building now to give you an idea of it, uh, what it all looks like in regards to the structure it's actually been built on. So it's quite a big base and it's nice um, building out of tech. It always looks clean, doesn't it? I always feel like tech looks clean. I mean, I love the stone and uh, wood bases. I love a thatch roof. If it didn't decay so quickly, we probably have more of them, but uh, obviously not with tech. But yeah, and, um, with tech, if we decide to play another map for a while, like we've been playing a lot of Lost Island, we know we only have to render this sort of once a week while we're not playing on it. But I can imagine on the Love Evolved event, we are gonna be on here quite a bit. So yeah, this is our extinction base. I hope you enjoyed this tour today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know what kind of bases you guys are building. Right, I'll just hop back up here. I think I'll log out. Well, I'll leave you. I'm not logging out. I'm going for a party. Oh, I think we're lagging. Yep. <laughs> Does this happen to you guys on official servers? Where it lags and then all of a sudden you are just miles up in the air. Because that is a regular recurrence. It's usually mostly on Gen 2, to be honest. But yeah, so that is our extinction base. We wanted to do this for a while, but we didn't finish it properly until quite recently because we've been playing so much Lost Island. And we didn't want to show you it unfinished. I mean, the bar hadn't been done, and that would just be, you know, do it in injustice, wouldn't it? So, and then, well, like I said, once we had finished it, the Void Worm was here, and we didn't know what to do. So, uh... Thankfully, the void worm's gone and we were able to do this. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already because we have so much ARC content on here and we've got more base tours planned quite soon too. Right, I will leave you now guys. Have a great day and take care. Thank you for watching.